Today, I'm going to show you how the voting widget within EasyTeach Next Generation can be used within your classroom. To demonstrate this, I've set up a new page with a multiple choice question I would like my pupils to answer. Firstly, we go to the widget bank, search for voting and select the arrow icon to add to your page. You will see the voting settings screen automatically appears. Here, we can select the letter or number range depending on what you have selected for your multiple choice answers and alter the number of options using the drop down. Mine range from A to D. We can also alter the response settings, choosing whether the first response, the last response, or a number of responses are recorded. I will select the last response to enable the students to change their minds. Finally, we select if we wish to have a timed vote. Here we can select the countdown option and give the pupils 30 seconds to answer, for example. We select OK to confirm our settings, and our vote is now ready. Hit the play icon and pupils can cast their votes using their handsets. Or you can do this via a show of hands and record results using the manual input buttons. We have the option of showing the votes as they come in using any of our four display options. When the time is up, we can select the pie chart display option and select to show the results by percentage. We can then hit the paste results onto my page button here. If we want to run the vote again, we simply hit the icon here to clear the current responses. This gives us the opportunity to change the current settings, minimize the widget tool and hide or show the voting buttons.